Ethan now SeaWorld Orlando's 2020 edition Icebreaker hasn't opened yet, a new coaster for the park may already be underway for 2021. Not only might this be the park's fourth B&M roller coaster, it might be a model we've never seen before. Let's get into it. Before we get into the full evidence, an introduction to how B&M identifies the coasters would be helpful. For all their models, a two or three letter identifier is used, followed by a single increasing letter to indicate the project number. For example, Kumba was the first sit-down looping coaster, so it had the code of SC-A. Mako was the 15th hypercoaster, so it had the abbreviation of MC-O. So how does this support the idea that SeaWorld is getting a new coaster model? Well, for the last year or so, some coaster enthusiasts have been using shipping container descriptions to predict coaster announcements before parks made them official. The best example of this is when a shipping memo revealed that Six Flags Over Texas was receiving parts of a Power Splash model months before Six Flags announced Aquaman. Recently, an R Splash roller coasters user with the username the Nick underscore C revealed they had found a series of shipments from B&M's facility in Europe to locations in the United States. Two of these were routine shipments to Claremont Steel in Ohio, where B&M manufactures track pieces, but one of the shipments was headed to SeaWorld Orlando. This doesn't seem that odd initially, as the park has multiple roller coasters from the manufacturer and must regularly order parts for maintenance. Although upon deeper digging, a description of the shipment was found. This showed not only the count of parts within the container, but also a total weight, both of which prove interesting. The total weight is around 22,600 pounds, which is quite heavy if this is only replacing parts for existing coasters. Brought into consideration with the total part count, which is 14, it seems to imply that this could be two coaster trains, with both having seven cars, or six cars of seats, and a zero car. Besides the weight and piece count, the description of the container's content specifically says, Equipment for Amusement Rides, Roller Coaster, SF-A, followed by a series of numbers for US Customs. The SF-A part of this is what stands out the most, as this matches no existing code for B&M coasters, if that is indeed what this code means here. So, what roller coaster model could this be, if it is indeed a new model? Last year, B&M filed a trademark for a new model named a Surf Coaster. Although this trademark gives no indication of the nature of this model, Besides the name, the name Surf Coaster would fit the model SF, and the dash A part of the code would imply that this new shipping container contains the parts of the first of this model. Besides this shipping container, we already have some confirmation that SeaWorld Orlando is playing something large in for 2021. The Coaster Kings released an article on their website in January, showing plans for the park obtained from public records. I'll provide a link to the article in the description, but here's a basic overview. The park filed a site plan with the county, which only shows the area of demolition, and what is going to be modified of the existing area. This does not show any new structures, so this could be for anything. Although, this does give a code name for the project. Penguin. The shaded pathways on this plan are those being removed, so it looks like a large section of the pathway behind the main entrance and even part of the road bordering the park will be demolished. The total area of this project is around 3.6 acres. Kraken's area is just under 4 acres for comparison. So, this is ample space for a pretty large attraction. This is also one of the busiest areas of the park, being heavily used during seasonal events, so a large scale ride interacting with the pathways would breathe the new life into the space. Of course, this is all just speculation until we have actual confirmation of whatever is happening. Post your ideas on what Project Penguin could be in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching!